the dawn of a new day of Ambea in Tanzania, a country that has the potential to supply food to the region and particularly rice, for which it has a clear comparative advantage. Rice as a food and cash crop is the second most treated cereal in Tanzania after maize. It is grown in many parts of the country, but mostly in the southwestern region where farmers grow the crop by irrigation and rain fed production. Bare rice lands account for most of the national rice output. Most of the rice produced here is high quality sallow rice variety. A significant proportion of the lower yielding but more aromatic rice, Mwendambio, is also grown here. Tuna mpango wakutafuta masoko nje kwa sababu mashine ya kumenyea tunayo. Go down la kuhifazia tunalo. Kwa hiyo inshu wapo ni kutafuta tuna mpango wakutafuta masoko nje ili tuweze kuuza mchele badala ya mpunga. Tukipata soko Kenya, tukipata soko Uganda, tukipata soko Malawi, madam liyo soko tu lenye, lenye tija. Na ishukuru serikali kwa sababu kwanza imetujengea miundombinu. Tuna mifereji sisi hapa. Kwa mana hiyo tunaweza kulima wakati wote. Naweza kulima wakati wa kiangazi, naweza kulima pia wakati wa masika. Na hili bondeletu linakubali muda wote kufanya kilimo hiki cha maindi. The prospect for export of rice to the East African community member countries, which now includes the Democratic Republic of the Congo, is immense. Kenya alone is a huge market. With an annual demand for almost 1 million metric tons against local production of only 180,000 metric tons, the shortfall is met by shipped imports from faraway Thailand, Pakistan, India and Myanmar. A sizable 37,000 metric tons are hauled in by road from neighboring Tanzania. A review of the rice subsector by Equity Bank revealed that financial support of the whole rice value chain would not only increase production but also increase stakeholders' income to ultimately transform lives and livelihoods. Equity's initial partnership with farmer members of Ipatagua Rice Scheme reveals that there is a hunger for support of rice farmers who own between an acre and 10 acres. While financial support is necessary, entrepreneurship training is critical to ensure farmers practice farming as a business. Asa wewe kujua kwamba kule kuna soko, unataji mtu apili kukupa jicho, sindio? Asa ndomana hiki kutu tumekuja sasa. Wakisha kwamba tunaunganisha tuna wakulima wetu, wazalishaji na masoko ambayo yako nchi ya Tanzania. Kwa maana kama kuna watu wako Kongo, wako Rwanda, wako uh, Kenya, basi wapate kujua kwamba sasa sahizi tuna mchele ambao tunaotegemea wapi? Isenyera. Mimi na familia yangu tunalima eka saba. Na mpunga. Equity inawahisha mkopo kuleta. Kwanza haina usumbufu wote. Sisi wakina mama tukikopa hiyo mikopo itatufaidisha sana kwenye kilimo hasa hata kwenye pembejeo sisi wakina mama tukipata pembejeo nasi tutakuwa juu zaidi tangia mwaka jana 2021 nimeweza kuingia kukuomba mkopo katika benki ya equity kweli niweza kuomba milioni tano. na benki ilinipa kwa muda mwafaka nilikuwa ninalima hekari tatu, lakini kwa, kwa Fumbina moja, fumbina mbili, nimeza kulima ikali kumina mbili. Na nilivuna gunia mia moja, semanini na saba. Ipatago scheme is but one of the five rice schemes that are over 1,500 acres each with Mbuyuni at double that acreage. In all these schemes, rice is grown by irrigation from waters drawn from Kimani River, a tributary of Rufiji River downstream. During Nane Nane celebrations held in Bea, Tanzania President Samia Suluhu Hassan re-emphasized the importance of rice production at an event where farmers received delivery of power tillers from equity. Mshuwa Raisi tumetumia kama ya kulima ya kikundi cha ubaso kutoka ura ya mbalari. Tumeanza kulifeka mwaka wajana F12 na 20 na moja 22. Tumepea power tiller S35 kutoka equity na pekta moja ina mahindra. Yuna tusaidia kutoka kwenye kipato cha gunia kuminatano, baka kufika gunia arubaini kwa heka moja. Katika mwaka 20-20 moja, sekta hizi za kilimo, zilichangia silimia 26 kwenye pato la taifa.
zikatoa ajira kwa wananchi wastani wa asilimia 65.6 na kuchangia asilimia 65 ya upatikanaji wa malighafi ya viwanda. Pia zilichangia kiwango cha utoshelevu wa chakula kinachozalishwa hapa nchini kwa zaidi ya asilimia mia na kuzalisha ziada kwa ajili ya soko la nje. Hata takwimu kutoka Benki Kuu ya Tanzania zinaonyesha kwamba katika mwaka 2021 bidhaa ya mchele pekee imeingizia taifa jumla ya shilingi bilioni 476.8 ikilinganishwa na shilingi bilioni 176.5 kwa mwaka 2020. By far the most challenging aspect of the rice valley chain is marketing. A director of Ruhie Rice Milling and Warehousing Service Company, Rafael Mbaise, has 55,000 bags of paddy in his stores. The farmer Camilla started with 1 and 1/2 acres of land under rice, but today he produces rice on 200 acres. With 20 tons milling capacity per day, Mbaise could clear his warehouses by milling the paddy. But instead, he staggers the milling because of a constricted market outlets. Mbaise's views have advised equity's determination to partner with stakeholders on the rice valley chain to provide project finance for warehouse construction and payment solutions for wholesale and retail traders. Our rice is sold in various regions, say Dar es Salaam, Zanzibar, Tunduma and uh, Mwanza. But all these uh, points, they are related to outside the country. So those who are taking our rice to Tunduma, they are looking at the Congo market. And those who are going to Mwanza, actually, they are going to Kenya direct. The bank is ready to provide asset financing for mechanization of farming and for transport of exports and imports to various destinations across East Africa. So we as Equity Bank, we have committed that will link our farmers to those markets because they appreciate that uh, buyers from Congo DRC, buyers from Rwanda, uh, Kenya, they offer them a reliable market and good price for their produce. Rice is not the only crop grown in the region. Maize, the most traded cereal in the country, is also grown here alongside wheat, beans, peas, and soya. Indeed, not far from the rice fields of Ipatagua is the maize growing farmlands near Ilaji in Uswahilini. Maize is grown by irrigation and from rain in season. Nimejipanga equity kinipatia mtaji niweze kulima zaidi hata ya eka tano. Natarajia kuuza soko la Inyala. Natarajia kuwauzia watu wa aina mbalimbali kwa mfano. Kenya, Malawi wanakuja kuchukua zao letu la mahindi kweli kuna changamoto kubwa ambazo huwa zinatukabili sisi kama wakulima wa kilimo cha mahindi e, changamoto ya kwanza ambayo ndio kubwa ni ukosefu wa mtaji kwa sababu tunashindwa kuzalisha e, mazao mengi kwa sababu hatuna mtaji ambao utatuwezesha kuweza kununua pembejeo za kilimo kwa wakati hususan katika upande wa madawa na upande wa mbolea alikazali kata mbegu bora ambazo tunaamini kabisa equity benki wao wakiweza kutuwezesha tunaamini tunaweza tukatatua hizo changamoto kwa wakati with a 200 million people market in the region across the middle of africa trade in agriculture will grow supported by equity's africa recovery and resilience plan the strategy we have adopted is the african recovery and resilience plan we have leveraged on the east african um, community common market and leveraged on the african continent of free trade area it's a regional plan it's a continental plan because we have realized uh, the only thing that can support us to succeed is the market the larger the market the better agriculture industry players in tanzania and across the east african community member states are encouraged to tap on the 700 billion kenya shillings plan to feed the region <laughs>